Hi guys, welcome back to our tutorial series. I believe last time we left off, we just created a mouse look script for our player using JavaScript. And in, in this tutorial, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to be showing you how it's done using uh, C Sharp. So let's start off. First things first, click on your FPS script folder and cr click on create, and then click on C Sharp script. Uh, let's rename the script to FPS mouse look C sharp. Oh, it's a bad name, but hey, what can you do? Enter. And let's open our script in Mono Development. Right, as you can see, as soon as C sharp opens, um, you have two two predefined functions update and start and on top of that you see something new public class new behavior script now I just want to let you guys know in C sharp everything has to be within the public class if it's outside of public class it doesn't um, count it it's gonna say it's an error so for example if I was to create a new function I would say void uh, let's just say um, look at open bracket close bracket as you can see it's a mistake it's not reading it so if we go back to unity we get an uh, error, uh, error message yeah as you can see the error message comes and we don't want that it's just a heads up notice to all you guys out there so make sure all everything you create, including new functions and your um, variables, are stored within the public class. So if I move this and paste it under our update, you can see that it accepts it. And if you go back to Unity, the error is going to go. Fantastic. There we go. So yeah, just a little heads up warning. Keep an eye on this. Make sure you have all your functions defined within the public class and your variables. Now your variables normally in Java would be on top of the function, on the very top. But in C, it has to be on top of your function within public class. So I have to put it on top of void start. And then you can define your variable over here. But before we do start, I just want to let you guys know that in this tutorial, I will not be explaining as much as, as much as I did in the JavaScript tutorials, because it does exact same thing. The lines do exactly the same thing, but I'm just going to uh, show you how you write the same script within C sharp, because both of them, Java and JavaScript and, and um, C sharp, both use different syntax, and if you try and copy and paste javascript uh, the javascript we wrote into here it's going to give you error messages that's because <coughs> uh, in c sharp everything is written differently so let's go ahead and start now if you remember in our last script we first of all defined a enum and that holds our mouse positions mouse y and mouse x so let's define that first so public enum Make sure there's no capitals, and we're going to give it a name: rotation axes. Um, open curly brace, mouse x dot oh, not dot equals one, comma mouse y equals two. Close curly brace save it now at the moment this uh, will not be viewable in our inspector mode because there's nothing bringing it up so let's declare a new variable that will make it visible in our inspector mode let's call this public rotation axes 
from the enum, we're going to define a new name within the rotation axis called rot x and y. It's going to be equal to our rotation axis dot mouse mouse x and and or rotation axis dot mouse y. So it's going to be equal to our rotation axis within the enum. If I save this, and I'm going to drag this new script onto our player. So drag your C sharp script onto the main player. Ah, an error. Now I know this error is going to come, but I left it out so I can show you guys. Basically, it's saying cannot add script behavior FPS mouse look C sharp. The script file name does not match the name of the class defined in the script. Now what it's saying is in our script <coughs> our public class is called new behavior script and in unity we have nothing no script that's called new class new behavior script so it's thinking it doesn't exist so in order to fix that error Copy your script name, your C sharp script. Copy it. Go back to your script and replace new behavior script with your script name. So now, if you try and attach it, make sure you save it. It knows that it's, it's going to attach this script and the data within this script. There you go. Yep, as you can see. Our rotation x and y is showing that's good perfect let's just say we're seeing go back to modern development <coughs> and let's start defining our variables needed for our x axis and our y axis let's start with the y axis i'm just gonna put no x sorry not y i'm just gonna put a little comment x axis Now, to the difference between Java and C sharp, in Java you will write your variables like this: far, sensitivity, sensitivity x. Uh, we're going to define it as a type float. It's going to be equal to four hundred. Now in Java. That's how you def that's how we define the sensitivity as in a float. But as you can see, C sharp isn't like that at all. It's because uh, they both have their uh, own separate syntax. And if you would want to write the same code, same line in C sharp, it would be float sensitivity. x equals 400 so basically in C sharp you have to remember this now in C sharp if you want to declare a variable it has to be the type first then the name and then your value types are such things as float in num, game objects audio clip and you name it and then once you define the type, then you give it a name. So in this case, uh, we want the sensitivity and we want it as a float. So we say float and we want to call it sensitivity. And then you pass it its value. So just keep in mind in C sharp, any defined variable would start with its type first. At the moment, this will not be viewable in our inspector mode. I'll show you. See, it's updated, but nothing shows. Let's go back in the script. To fix that, all you need to do is put public in front of this. Save it. Oops. There we go. If you make it public, it's viewable to us in the inspector mode. 
if you leave it as nothing if you leave it as float sensitivity equals 400 it's going to keep it hidden within the script okay so that's how you define variables in c sharp let's make a next variable which be which will be our minimum and maximum for our x rotation so public float minimum x equals minus 360 public float maximum x equals 360. 